was going into city council meetings and speaking up at the uh, public comment. Uh, here in San Jose, we call it an open forum. And the open forum in San Jose, like I said, is at the end of the meetings. Um, if you even get that shot, you more likely will not get that chance. It'll be bumped up to the evening meeting. And, and, and you've just been worn out by that time. You know, you, you, you start kind of even, uh, you know, you're so hungry, you're so tired, it's been a long day, you're sitting in that um, in, in that auditorium, and, and you're just ready just to go to sleep. You're ready to go to sleep. You know, sitting in city council meetings here in San Jose, um, when you're not getting paid and you're just trying to speak up about a problem you've had with the city, um, can wear you down. And I, and I think it's very anti-democratic. I think they completely, they being, you know, the people that run this gig here, it, it's, it's anti-democratic. It's meant to wear people down that want to complain. And, and, and you're not giving people the opportunity to be heard. And, and that's very anti-American. It's very anti-democratic. Um, this, uh, this program here, um, and I say this program is the city council, um, it, it, I just do not think it's being ran very properly. I just don't think it's being run properly. Uh, my concerns have never really been able to be addressed, and, and having that pulpit, that, that the ability to go in there at the podium and address the mayor, address the city council, is, is very important to having our government work properly. And out of the uh, out of the 12 other cities in Santa Clara County, San Jose is the only one that has basically um, gassed democracy. They basically have gassed the public comment till the end of the meeting or longer. Um, we got to experience it about less than a year ago when they dragged the four citizens that waited till 2.30 in the morning to be able to speak up. Um, there was a couple of them in there that had the ability to talk, and by that time, everybody was damn near asleep. I mean, what's the point of that? I mean, I, I doubt any of you guys went back through and looked at those people's complaints. Um, so like I said, it's very anti-democratic. Um, as far as the public comment there. So now when these resources, when you kind of wear out the, you know, going to the meetings and, and waiting for those windows of opportunity, you know, once that wears you down, the intimidation, the fear from, uh, you know, law enforcement and security there, you know, having the comment mixed around so much, once that wears you down, then you try to figure out what are other ways that you can get, um, get people to listen to your complaints. And, and in, in my case, you know, you, 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 you might make a purchase of a, of a megaphone, like what I have right here. You might go out and say, hey, I want to practice my First Amendment right to freedom of speech, and I want to go out and I, and I want to criticize my government. Um, you know, criticism stands above what it criticizes. So, hey, I want to come out to a city agency and, and do a civil and peaceful protest. What I am doing is concerted, protected activity. Um, you know, people have died to protect these rights. Um, in our country, and, and, and they have protected me from being able to do this. But this is another anti-democratic activity right here that our city is not allowing. Um, when you want to apply for the proper permit through the police department, um, it's basically denied. They tell you it's your First Amendment right and that you cannot get a permit. Yet in our um, city's municipal code, it has section after section after section that explains the process of having to have a permit, explains that, you know, what the chief is able to do to deny that permit, to suspend that permit, um, specific times, areas, places, you know, and so if you want to go about it the right way, it, it is basically impossible. And I experienced that out in front of the police department around Christmas um, when I was actually booked and put into the Santa Clara County Jail for practicing my First Amendment rights um, to freedom of speech. I was criticizing the San Jose Police Department. I was out at 8, it was about 8.30 in the morning on uh, December 23rd, um, and I was bullhorning out there with my bullhorn uh, regarding tow policies, regarding, uh, you know, homeless people having their property taken. RVs and motorhomes being assets stripped by the predatory tow companies like Courtesy and Meadows Tow. I was out there, um, you know, so my voice could be heard because there is no complaint process with the city 
for issues like this that's even taken seriously. So, like I said, it's very anti-democratic to have that happen. And when you take somebody and you put them in Santa Clara County Jail, you apply bail on a municipal code violation, um, it's a really, really, really shady thing to do to people. And when you're one person protesting the right way, um, and that's done to them, it's very anti-democratic. And the other uh, you know, hard part about this is when you put that person, like myself, through a jury trial, you put him through a jury trial when he's exercising his First Amendment rights. Well, I have to come out here and do this because I'm not able to do this in, in, in our city council chambers. My voice is not able to be heard, like we've talked about with the public comment being pushed till the end of the first uh, chop of the meeting. Then the second set, it's basically pushed off till 2.30 in the morning. It's, it's anti-democratic. It's not allowing us to come forward with our, um, with our grievances. And, and this system is, is really showing itself now as an absolute joke. So not only do you go through the problems of being thrown in jail for exercising your First Amendment rights, the same process happens in that, in that council chambers. So not only are you denying me on the street, you're denying me in the city council chambers, and then when citizens go through the other process of complaining, your internal affairs department goes ahead and just fudges everything they possibly can because of course they're going to protect the establishment. And then we have the independent police auditor, which really can't do anything when they don't have the ability to investigate. So you're kind of, you know, you're hitting walls and you call that beaten pavement. And I've been through that process here with San Jose. Um, and it's just, you know, you're pulling hair out. You're like, wow, can, you know, at what point does our city start doing fact-finding investigations on, on the citizens getting, um, you know, getting just thrown through the ringer. At what point does, you know, in my situation, does code enforcement start doing the proper fact-finding investigation on my issues? At what point do we start having a complaint process for people being asset-stripped with their vehicles um, when they're impounded? There's no complaint